collection of rusty bits off the dodging car. Rusty light, rusty trim. It's probably not focused, is it? But yeah, rusty lights, rusty trim. Side bit that was knackered. Two knackered rear lights uh, surrounds, and the rear frame. No, the rear panel. Just about to put the uh, body shell back on the bumper again, but I thought I'd show you guys, if anyone's interested. This is what the other side looks like. That's, with, that's the front with the missing headlight lens. But this is the um, this is the side with the missing trim. And this trim was missing from the start, but there was a bit of trim on the back back half which I took off. But yeah, so that's what that side looks like. Just for the record. See if I can get an overall view. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so looking through my old photos of dodging cars, I found these two pictures of my car before I owned it. This is, these were taken from eBay from years ago. It was an eBay listing. But you can see it's my car because it's uh, a red car that's been painted yellow. Missing trim with a strip and a rusty bit of stuff on the bonnet that I had to remove. Um... Yeah, and this is the same car as well. You can see that it's got the missing headlight. So this was, this was obviously before um, the shell was taken off the body. Off the, yeah, the, bo the body shell was removed from the actual car. But uh, yeah, that's my car for sale on eBay years ago. And this is a photo that someone on Facebook sent me of the same type of car as mine. I think it's called a Revachon R66. And uh, these are that type of car on in use on a, f a fairground back in the 70s. And uh, I like this picture, it's really cool. You can see the rusty trim, even these cars have got rusty chrome trim on the front. So the chrome trim wasn't very good back then either. But yeah, this is a picture from the manufacturer of the Revitron R66, the model that I've got. That's what it should look like, all nice and clean. That's another old uh, Revitron Dodgem car. Very interesting design, that one. And this is my ultimate, my favourite one, the 1972 Revachon Europa, I think that's the best looking Dodgem car they've ever made. It's a really look cool looking car. Love one of those. But here's some old uh, Dodgem cars from years ago. This is the very first Revachon car in the top left hand corner. Another ones they've made in the, over the years. And there's the one I've I've got is like the dark blue one in the bottom right corner. Um, yeah, that's how the sort of designs evolved over the years. And uh, this is on from the 60s into the 70s. And then the 80s and the 90s, different designs, up to the more recognisable ones that you see on the fairgrounds today. So there's a look at the back of the car as it looks now. Um, all back on its bumper again. Missing the rear trim, the rear uh, panel, but it uh, doesn't look too bad. And if we go to the front, you can hear the road noise because I've got the window open. <laughs> There's the seat. I did do something today on it. I did improve the, ins the inside a bit. I've got some foam cushions. There's a foam cushion under there, on the back and one underneath the seat. On the base of the seat, yeah. Foam cushion on the, on the base of the seat and one on the back. So it's properly padded now as well as a cushion, so it's quite comfortable. Um, so a proper look at it. So there it is. Yeah, it's looking quite good, I think, apart from its missing headlight. But yeah, I'm oh, sorry about that. That's the the light in the corner of the camera again. Yeah, I think it's the case on my phone. But yeah, still looks cool all the same. It's a shame about the headlight not being able to put the new lens on it, but. Uh, the replacement lens anyway but yeah there's the red stripe it's really weird how they just painted a red car yellow i don't understand why they did that but never mind you can see it's a bit of crazing on the on the fiberglass here as well so to do the paintwork properly it would really need to be done well i can't really do it professionally you know i've not got the skills to do it properly but We'll see about that anyway. I'm not giving up on it yet. I'm just going to keep going to keep cracking on with it. But anyway, this is what I really like about it. <laughs> you can just you can just uh, 
get in it and sit in it, which is really cool. Obviously it's got no floor in it, but um, yeah. So, yeah, and the dog likes to get involved. You can't get in it as well, Frankie. You stay there. But yeah, you can sit in it and uh, it's pretty cool. You can get, you can sit there and pretend you've got your foot on the pedal, and you can just sort of fake steering wheel. And he needs a steering wheel, but yeah, I am a big child. But look, here's the side of it, and uh, I still can't, still can't get these bolts out the top of this. Um, this bolt, I still can't get it off. It's all sort of just uh, rusted solid, but we'll work on it at some point. But yeah, it's a shame about all that. If I could get that all nice and clean and painted, it would be brilliant. But anyway, there we go. <laughs> you can see where the steering wheel used to be. Anyway, leave it there for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.